I'm on this mountain to explain what the singularity is. Trust me, it'll all make sense. This is Kayan Explains the Singularity. Think of this mountain I'm on as a timeline of human history. Snow represents technology and the improvements we've made over time. Humans have pushed technology forward. In the 1940s, we created this awesome invention known as the electronic computer. You might have heard of it. Humans have continued to push that snowball forward, helping it get a lot bigger and faster as it rolls. Since computers were invented, people began thinking about this idea called the singularity. The singularity is a point in time when artificial intelligence becomes smarter and faster than humans. It could look like this. AI becomes so smart that it no longer needs humans to help push it along. AI could then become independent enough to learn and improve itself without our help, eventually creating an even better AI, which then creates an even better AI, and so on and so forth. The AI could become what's called super intelligent, meaning smarter than humans, even smarter than humans could possibly imagine. But wouldn't that cause the technology avalanche? Something too out of our control? <laughs> a computer smarter than a human? Okay, okay. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. First, let's explain when this might happen. All right, so the mountain is a timeline of human history, right? So when could the AI snowball pass us? Or when could the singularity happen? Some experts think it could happen 30 to 40 years from now, or a lot sooner, or not at all. Maybe artificial intelligence will remain how it is, specialized and smart, but not smarter than humans. But what if it continues to grow and get smarter, improving itself without humans? What would the singularity even look like? Well, these are all theories, but some experts think AI could replace or surpass humans. What? Maybe even becoming self-aware, or living the same way we do. Others fear that AI could leave us behind or even eliminate us. Eh, maybe. But many scientists and governments are talking about putting safeguards up around AI advancements. The experts that CBC Kids News spoke to agreed that the scariest possibility for the singularity might not be sci-fi robots or snow monsters trying to take over the world. It's misinformation and disinformation created by AI that humans can't spot or stop. Like, what if we can spot the real snow from the fake stuff? Another theory is that artificial intelligence could be used to change ourselves, combining with us to make super intelligent humans. It could be used for good or evil, we don't really know yet. Or it could be a bunch of small individual developments, like snowflakes instead of snowballs. For example, AI could become super intelligent at certain jobs or roles, but it's not good at everything. Or it could be nothing at all. With all these ideas swirling around the singularity, will we ever know? The honest answer is, no one knows yet. The, the possibilities, possibilities are endless. endless. And that's why it's called the singularity. It's a mathematical term for infinity, which is unimaginable, and a term for the center of a black hole, which we can't see past. So now we know what the singularity is, a time and place when AI grows to become smarter than humans. So what's next? All the experts I spoke to said knowledge is power. If kids wanna be in control of the future with AI, it's about getting out there and learning so that we can steer the snowball in the direction we want our futures to go. <sighs> It's a lot to take in, but I'm gonna go enjoy my hot chocolate now. For CBC Kids News, I'm Inara Aline.